Emile and his dad Francois are stuck in a traffic jam. They are arguing because Emile did not want to go and now they are late because of him. Emile gets fed up with his dad scolding and leaves the car and Francois follows him. Then they see an ambulance shaking and hear something screaming inside before the windows break. Francois quickly pulls Emile to hide as the ambulance doors burst open and a creature that looks half like a bird and half like a man jumps out, landing on a car. Security people run to get the mutant back, but it fights and shouts, making everyone around scared. The mutant throws the security away and runs off. Later, Emile and Francois go to the hospital to see Emile's mom, Lana, who is turning into an animal too. For two years, many people have been changing into animals, often becoming violent. The government tries to catch them and keep them calm with medicine in special places, hoping to find a cure. Most people are afraid of these mutants and want them locked away. Emile is scared to see his mom because she hurt him once, but Francois says she's still family. The doctor talks about a new place for Lana in the south, and Francois agrees to move there with Emile to escape the stares of people who knew Lana before. When they go to see Lana, Emile stays back because of the marks on the walls, but Francois sits and talks to her, though Emile doubts she understands. A few weeks later, Emile, Francois, and their dog settle in a new house near the woods. Emile starts school and when a classmate, Nina, asks too many questions, Emile lies that his mom died and says a lightning strike caused his scar. That night, a big storm hits the town, turning off the lights. Emile wakes up from the loud sounds of wind and lightning. He checks the window and sees a strange creature looking in, but it disappears when Francois turns the lights back on. The next morning, they hurry to the lake after getting an urgent call. The police and firefighters have sealed the area because the storm made an ambulance crash into the lake. They watch a police officer pull out a creature's body, and Francois is scared it might be about his wife. This ambulance was moving all the mutants to the new place, and now some are dead and others ran away. The police calm Francois as he cries out for his wife. But Officer Julia tells him they haven't found Lana, so she might be in the woods. Back home, Francois hangs clothes on trees near their house, hoping Lana will smell them and find her way home. In school, during a game of tug-of-war, Emile's team falls except him. He pulls so hard alone that his team comes back and wins. Everyone is amazed by Emile's strength and invites him to a party, but Emile is worried about something under his nails and goes home to check. Using tweezers, he pulls out tiny claws from under his nails, screaming from the pain, realizing he's starting to change too. He sees changes in his back in the mirror, gets upset, throws things, and then bathes to try and wash off his fear. His dog joins him in the tub to make him feel better. Meanwhile, Francois meets Julia outside, who says they've stopped looking because the military will take over. Then they hear people screaming at the sight of a mutant. Julia tells her team to clear out the shopping center, but Francois is on the lookout for the mutant, wondering if it's Lana. Instead, they find a squid-like mutant looking for fish. When spotted, she hurls a box of shrimp at them and runs, throwing more food at Julia who's chasing her. Julia manages to tackle and capture her despite the food attack. Francois discovers another scared mutant hiding but decides to keep it a secret from the police. On Friday, Emile enjoys a party with his classmates, who are showing off swords for a midsummer festival presentation. After drinking too much, Emile feels sick and drops to the ground. Nina offers him medicine and without thinking, Emile licks her hand to take it, startling everyone. Feeling humiliated, Emile runs away into the forest, hearing sounds from other mutants. The next day, Emile wakes up by the lake, spits out blood, and sees anti-mutant graffiti on his way home. In the bathroom, he vomits a feather, realizing he must have eaten a bird the previous night. Ignoring police barriers, Francois and Emile head into the forest to find Lana. Emile asks how Francois felt about Lana's change, and Francois says he wasn't afraid because she was still the person he loved, just different. They search into the night, playing Lana's favorite song loudly in the car, hoping to find her. The next morning, Emile notices his nails changing again. His dog runs off, leading him to a chameleon child in a tree. Suddenly, the bird man from before attacks Emile, clawing at him. But when the man looks into Emile's eyes, he stops sensing something in Emile. Francois grabs Emile, and despite Emile's protest against going to the hospital for fear of being discovered, Francois insists they need to go. Their disagreement distracts them, nearly causing a collision with a horse, but Francois breaks in time. They've reached the riding school, surrounded by police. Julia informs them of a mutant horse attack. Seizing the opportunity, Francois requests a favor, leading to an army nurse stitching up Emile's wound, convinced by their cover story of a dog bite. 
Back home, Emil, driven by instinct, undoes some stitches to lick his wound. In a lab class, he panics upon seeing Nina wear a necklace with a similar feather to what he regurgitated. When Nina confronts him about his reaction, he's already overwhelmed by the noise from the ferrets. Losing patience, he demands silence from the animals. Post-class, Emil struggles to bite due to his bodily transformations. Nina remains supportive, inviting him over. Discovering a dead bird in Nina's fridge, Emil learns she kept it and the feather he left as a potential food source for mutants. Later, Emil astonishingly catches a fish bare-handed observed by a neighbor. He then encounters the Birdman, dubbed Fix, struggling with flight. Emil offers a fish and suggests a safer training spot by the lake, clearing hazards to prevent Fix's injuries. That evening, unable to manage his bike, Emil abandons it, planning to claim it was stolen. Meanwhile, Francois at the bar learns the owner has produced anti-mutant merchandise, stirring discomfort. Taking out the trash, Francois is startled by a mutant in chains attempting a peaceful resolution only for a colleague to intervene, revealing the mutant as her hidden relative. As they attempt to rehide the mutant at the bar, it panics and dashes to the front, causing patrons to scatter. Francois, fearing another mutant might be Lana, finds her in the woods, transformed into a bear, who acknowledges him with a sound before departing. At school, Emil unexpectedly spits out a tooth, disguising it as a baby tooth to his disgusted classmates. Later, he finds Fix struggling with flight, repeatedly crashing into the water. During a break, Emil sees the damage from an unsuccessful surgery intended to remove Fix's emerging beak. That evening, Francois and Julia comb the forest for Lana, stealthily avoiding police. Their search yields no sign of Lana, but they stumble upon Emile's bike, deepening Francois's concerns. Back home, Francois uncovers claws and hair in a clogged sink, evidence of Emile's transformation. Confronted with these discoveries, Emile denies them. Francois locks him out, demanding the truth, leading to a tense chase that ends in an emotional embrace. The following morning, Emile's alterations in eating habits are met with Francois' unwavering support, who provides Lana's medication to help Emile manage his new instincts. Francois takes practical steps to assist Emile in concealing his changes, including daily nail trimming, using cotton for his sensitive hearing, and applying hair removal cream. Emile and Nina maintain their connection over a phone call, during which Emile tests his enhanced hearing with her scream, pleased by the distance his senses now cover. On a later visit, Emile finds Fix's condition has deteriorated to the point where he's lost speech, communicating only through bird-like sounds. Emile's embrace leads Fix to demonstrate his newfound ability to fly, enjoying his freedom in the sky. Later, at the festival where Francois is working, their reunion turns sour as Francois believes Emile should be in hiding. The confrontation escalates to violence, with Emile biting Francois before being threatened off with scissors. Distressed, Emile encounters Nina, who suggests a secluded walk through the cornfields. Their intimacy reveals Emile's physical changes, which Nina accepts, having suspected them. However, the night takes a turn when a classmate confronts Emil in the bathroom using a device that emits a high-pitched noise, hurting Emil and triggering a violent response. The situation spirals out of control as the local community, armed and fearful, organizes a hunt. Emil's escape is nearly cut short by an armed attacker, but Fix intervenes, sacrificing himself to save Emil. A police pursuit ensues, ending tragically across the lake where Fix is fatally wounded. As Francois and the search party discover Fix's body, Emile remains unseen, taking refuge in the forest. Meanwhile, the presence of a large mutant looms over the town, with military forces moving in. In solitude, Emile survives on forest fruits, his evening culminating in a heartfelt howl among the nocturnal sounds, a poignant expression of his grief and transformation. During a stormy night, Emile seeks shelter in a cave and encounters a bear, soon recognizing her as his mother, Lana. Their touching reunion is marked by a gentle forehead bump, a silent exchange of love. Lana leads Emile to a hidden community of mutants living peacefully, including the chameleon girl he met before. Their sanctuary is breached when the military locates them using a debilitating sound weapon that incapacitates the mutants, leading to their capture except for the chameleon girl who evades detection through her camouflage. At the police station, Francois assists Emile in fabricating a story of accidental drunken wandering to explain his presence in the forest. Emile's struggle to sign the release papers reveals his inability to control his mutations, prompting Francois to incapacitate a suspicious officer to prevent their discovery. After forging the necessary documentation, Francois and Emile hastily depart the station, seeking refuge in their car. 
Their escape is quickly challenged by a police pursuit, driving Francois to make a desperate break for the forest, promising Emile freedom from confinement. Urging his son to flee into the wilderness, Emile's departure is a blend of sorrow and liberation underscored by his joyous howl. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.